hello welcome to classmate channel um, today we will be uh, making some lawn chair cushions have you ever had that favorite fabric that you liked but yet didn't have the cushions for it well guess what we have started making some already it's a nice print that I like and I had some outdoor chairs but no cushions so if you sit through you can learn a couple things while I go um, I made them from scratch made the tabs for them um, and I used two types of fabric in two different colors and I want to print on the front so hope you like this video and it helps you uh, a couple things that you'll need to start of course is about um, a yard yard and a half uh, to make at least one cushion I like to use a white chalk marker um, it kind of just it's a powder form it's refillable and of course a pair of scissors pin cushion which is great um, you can probably get one of these from Dollar Tree which is really nice and of course I bought the pin cushion I meant the pins separately but yeah for a dollar you can't beat it and a pair of scissors and of course uh, you can either do it by hand I'm using today a Singer Heavy Duty Soap Machine to make mine. Um, so yeah. So of course you'll cut your fabric out and do your measurements on your um, lawn chair that you like or whatever chair you would like for it to be on to see how much fabric you're going to need for that particular chair. Um, you'll also need some polyfill for your cushion. And you can usually get them by the bags. Uh, polyfill lots of polyfill makes great cushions all right so let's get started so if you like this channel please hit the like button and subscribe so that you don't miss out on great things that we make daily so I'm going to turn my machine on and I like to set my machine to just a straight stitch for this particular um, outer stitch that I'm going to do and I'll just stitch like a very straight stitch straight down for how many sections do I want on to my cushion okay so we're going to get started So if you don't mind, put down in the comment box about things that you'd like to make or things that you would like to see me make. And maybe we could do that. That could be a good thing that we can do as a team. But it's nothing like having I mean, your own things made in your home that you like. It's so many beautiful fabrics out there. But yet... You don't have the items that you like in your own. Okay. So that's one section that I probably already made for this particular piece. And I will begin to put the polyfill in this one. Let me just get it to where I want it. And this is a very long piece, as you can see, very long. And I have about five sections onto this cushion. Five sections that I'll be putting polyfill into. Okay. I'll be putting in there. And of course, when you're using polyfill, just kind of separate it a little bit. So it doesn't leave lumps inside your cushion once you're done. It'll just kind of smooth itself out. And I like to do that. Spread it out a little bit and take it. And just put one big piece in my hand really well. And put it inside that little piece. And work it in there. Okay. So we get all the way to where we want it. Inside the cushion. Okay. 
Okay. And we are getting there to the top section to put the polyfill in. And I'll show you closer the tabs that I made um, to actually attach the cushion to the lawn chair. Um, I use Velcro, sew on Velcro um, instead of tying it. You can also use ribbon if you like instead of going through the Velcro. I just thought it would be more secure for me. So that's what I chose. Okay, and I'm going to get some more polyfill so that we can finish stuff in the other section and again we're going to separate a little bit we don't want lumps we want smoothness smoothness okay mm -hmm. so get it in there We almost have it, you guys. So have you ever made any cushions? Or is there something that you make in your home that, you know, you're proud that you made and it looks nice? If so, leave me a comment. You can use so many different types of fabric for cushions. Um, for this particular cushion that I made, I did use an outdoor fabric just because um, I didn't want to have to worry about it um, staining or anything like that. But you can definitely use a uh, regular fabric and then you can just uh, pre-treat it to make it be water resistant, um, waterproof, and uh, stain proof with a particular spray. So. It's just whatever options you choose at this point. Um, you have a lot of options, that's for sure. So I'm almost there. Putting this section in. I do want to show you this once I finish putting it on in here. And then I will show you um, what the cushion will look like once you're done. So, so far we have one section done on it, one of the cushions, um, and this is what you have so far on that section. That's just one section. The rest of it is still flat. So, let me show you what it's going to look like. We have one tab at the top. As you can see, like I said, I did Velcro for the top tab. We have tabs on the side that I hold the chair. You see that on the side? And then we have one on the bottom. Um, really nice. So let me show you what it looks like when it's done. I just move my sewing machine to the side just for a little bit so I can really show y'all well. And again, this is the Singer Heavy Duty sewing machine. Great machine. Very great machine. So let me show y'all. Um... I'm gonna get the cushion. Sorry, guys. My door is acting up over here on me. All right, that's better. So, here is the cushion. Like I told you, it is one, two, three, four, five. Five sections. Five. Let me show you what it looks like on to 
the lawn chair that I was telling you about so you can see what it looks like. And I'm going to move my chair out of the way so you can see it clearly. And I'm going to bring you in a little bit. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I was moving my chair. So here we are. We have the kitchen that is complete, as I showed you, and it also has my um, business tab in the bottom of it. Since I did make it, I didn't want to just put something out there without my label being on it. And everything you make, you guys, you should be labeling. It. So let me show you that. Well, you put your business label on it. As you can see, I have my business label on it. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. Business label. It's always good to mark your things when you're making it. Okay. So we're going to put that one there. i show you what these cushions look like. Okay. We're going to put that there so you can see it. Okay. And here's the chair, the actual chair. Okay. So this is a lawn chair. As you can see um, on another video, I showed you how to um, spray paint this one to renew it. So that's what I did. So this is that same chair from that video. Um, I'll put that in below in the description box and you can check that out. But yeah, so let me show you how we put this on. As I told you before, I have a tab at the top for this chair. We sit it right into the chair. Okay. We're going to put the tab on it. And I'm going to let y'all see a little bit closer because we can't see that way. Sorry. Okay, you guys. Move my sewing machine out the way so you can really be able to see. Okay. And as you can see, here's the chair. The table don't want to move. All right. Sorry, y'all. So hopefully you can see that um, yeah so this is the long chair I've completed it um, I put the tabs on it I'm gonna put a tab over here and yeah so there you go you have a nice long chair from cushions that you have made see the cushions and Here's the chair, as you can see. I'm going to bring it up for you all so you can see it completely. Because you kind of can't see it from right there. But yeah, nice. And see, the size, it fits very good. Hopefully you can see that. You can see that. Yeah. Very, very nice. Alright, so now you have a nice cushion, so if you like my channel, please hit the like button, and thank you for watching.